And here's some other headlines we're following for you tonight. Now, we're learning that the man accused of recently murdering a 77-year-old woman in Buckhead allegedly committed another criminal act just minutes earlier. New documents from Atlanta police obtained by 11 Alive say 23-year-old Antonio Brown tried to steal a bottle of vodka from a liquor store this past Saturday. An incident report describes Brown as a homeless male in the area and always under the influence. The liquor store is just across West Paces Ferry Road from the home of 77-year-old Eleanor Bowles. APD says the attempted shoplifting took place between 11.36 a.m. and noon on Saturday the 10th, while the murder of Bowles was between noon and 5 p.m. that same day. Brown is still in the Fulton County Jail. There's still a search for answers. One year after Juan Lopez was shot and killed, he was standing in front of an East Point ATM while he was on the phone with his sister. East Point police say three people were involved, but so far only Shane Knight has been arrested and charged with a murder. Juan's wife tells 11 Alive she'll keep pushing for justice. Nothing will bring him back, but at least I can sleep knowing that they got what was coming for them. Cobb County is hoping to decrease crime by turning to facial recognition software. The Cobb County Police Department has been using the software for the last seven months through a pilot program. It takes images that are uploaded from public images that are already available and the tool is working. But some are concerned about the software being used to misidentify people of color and that it will be used to invade the privacy of everyday people. Cobb County's police chief understands the public's safety concerns, but says there would be limits to who could use it and what it would be used for.